Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to import XML file in BC. So for that I have already created a simple XML file because uh, we, if I add more fields into it, more nodes into it, you should not get confused. So it's a very simple XML file. Let us understand few uh, few terms in XML, okay? So that you can easily mm, know how to uh, how to import what we are trying to do it in XML. Everything. So here you can see this is the root node, okay? Everything, every node, and everything we call it as a node, okay? Table is a node, customer is a node. So the first one you should know is what node. Na no is a node, name is a node, address is a node, everything is a node, okay? In that table is a root node, okay? Root node. There will be only one root node. So here we are uh, telling that table. This is my root node. And the next one is I am going to insert into a customer table. So I am I have used the child node. Customer is the child of table. Okay, customer is the child of a table. So here you can see that this is a customer. It's a child node of table root node okay and uh, under that you can see that I am going to add multiple customers okay that is uh, I have uh, multiple customers here I am going to add two customers detail so this is the detail for the first customer and this is the detail for the second customer okay so you should open this like every node has its closing node as well so if you start a node with table then you definitely should uh, end the table node okay so it's like this if someone knows HTML so you can easily understand what all these things are so XML this is what XML this is how the XML data will be stored in dot XML format which is extensible markup language so extensible markup language is specifically used to store and transfer the data through website like th that is World Wide Web okay so here uh, you have to use everything with the angular bracket okay so this is open uh, that is a uh, less than symbol greater than symbol so this is what we'll call it as an angular bracket so here you have to write the node that is a root node here and then child node and it it will go off okay it will go on like uh, how we are going to add it so inside customer I wanted to add only number name and address because since we all know that in the customer table we have various fields but if if I start writing for all the fields then you should not get confused so that is why I have I'm just adding for three fields number name and address so it is better to use the exact field name okay so if you go and look here in the customer table so okay so I'm just going to open and show you the customer table and you can see that how the table exactly looks like and what are the um, what are all the fields we have okay so if you click on the customer table you can see that we have the fields and o. okay this is what I have given here as a child node for customer okay this is the first customer the name of the customer and the address of the customer and I have closed the node and second one is customer second customer what is the number name and address and I have closed it if you want to add multiple customers then again what you have to create a customer node okay so ensure that you are giving the same uh, node here so customer and then uh, you have uh, closed close it whenever you open you have to close it okay and then you have to um, give the number name whatever the fees you want you can just add it here okay this is how your XML file should look like and then finally you have to save it exactly with a proper name with dot XML extension okay you can go here click save us and then you have to give here what dot XML don't forget to give this dot XML because this is very very important and compulsory so give dot XML then it will be stored okay so we are going to import this particular file into the customer table so we'll be seeing how uh, how we are going to import it okay so this is what the XML file exactly looks like and I'm going to write a code unit for that okay this is a simple code unit I have created with the procedure import data 
ओके इट्स आई एम गोइंग जस्ट गोइंग टू कॉल दिस प्रोसीजर कोड इन साइड द कोड यूनिट एंड हेयर यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव असाइन वेरियस वेरिएबल लेट अस डिस्कस व्हाट आर दीज वेरिएबल्स आर टॉकिंग अबाउट so once if you open uh, that is once if you are trying to import the data it should pop up a, a upload or some dialog box to choose the file right so for that only i am going to use this from file this is to choose the file in the file explorer okay okay this variable is for that and in stream because you are going to give the data as an as a file format so it's an in stream okay this is in uh, getting the data as an input and this is an xml document so why see these are all the unique uh, that is these are all the uh, another set of data type in business center so xml document xml element xml node list so you can see various things here okay that i can show you so xml document okay so xml document is actually a data type as well as a class in business central so if you click on the xml document type here you can see that this is used uh, uh, it this is used to represent a xml document and here if you use this xml document data type you can use all these method like for example if you wanted to create an xml document if you wanted to read from any xml document if you wanted to um, add any any child node or these are all the methods which are available for this particular xml document data type and the class okay so these all are the variables okay xml element likewise you can just go and search here xml element you can see here all the xml related uh, related variables are available so xml element so what is xml element data type this is this is used to uh, if you wanted to get the xml element okay so uh, the only thing you should always remember is what you have various uh, various what to say you have various terms and terminologies in xml node everything is considered to be a node everything in the sense whatever which is enclosed within the open and close angular bracket child node uh, which is under some uh, 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 that is uh, which is under this number is a child node for customer customer is the child node for table okay root node root node is what only one root node will be there for everything and of course in everything uh, in this uh, we call it as an element okay so customer is an element okay so uh, we have very see customer and if you wanted to add some more uh, thing like uh, for example customer uh, behavior okay then this will be considered as a property okay elements that is what they are calling they are talking here as an element so element in the sense which is which is uh, which is there in your xml document so every element we will call it as an element node okay element node a uh, child node like that okay so for everything for uh, all these xml related data types you can find it in the microsoft learn so i have created all these things and we are going to add it inside the customer record so i am using this customer i am storing customer into the uh, uh, that is a customer table into customer uh, variable and this is xml node list okay so this is the list node we are going to get it as a node and xml element okay so let us see one by one the first one is what in order to get the data from the user okay the some file explorer should open up okay so for that if upload into stream upload into stream is a method which is used to get the data from the user that is get the file from the user and if you just hover over here you can see that this is the procedure this is the dialog title so what is the dialog title see once if you click on uh, import a dialog box should open right so the dialog box should tell you that what you wanted to import you wanted to import a file okay so choose a button will be there a button will be there you have to uh, choose the file so for that what dialog title you wanted to display upload xml file okay so the dialog title you have to display that so that is why we are using here and uh, and uh, the next one is what uh, these are all the parameters which you have to pass dialog title from folder if you will be getting the data exactly from the same folder it is a static in the sense you can tell what is the uh, exact path here since i am going to impo uh, i am going to randomly select it so i am just leaving it empty and uh, next one is what from filter 
from filter there is no filter for me and then from file i have to tell from which file i am going to that is a file name i have to specify and it will be in the in stream format then it should read the data from that particular file and as an xml document it should read as an xml document okay uh so it should not consider that as a text file so it should consider that as an xml document so i am giving here read from instr xml document if i haven't ex uh, uh, imported any file then it should it should throw an error it should throw an error okay no not an xml file if i am not adding a xml file then it should throw an error that it's not an xml file okay so that is what the concept here this is the first uh, uh, condition which we are searching for which is to um, get the data from the user okay so the next one is what once it uh, gets the data from the user that is the xml file is imported then what it should do it should read line by line right line by line right so it should it should get the data like so you can so see here that here this is what the upload xml file okay this is what we have written here uh, that is upload xml file okay and once it is done okay once i have given upload i have given upload xml then what it should do it should go it should first to find the root element in that particular xml file so this uh, this particular uh, code is to find the root element from that xml file okay so this is what the uh, um, exact statement so if xml doc okay we have got the xml document here dot get root get root and inside that i have to tell which one i wanted to get as a root so what is the tab tab is an xml element so as i told that is an element so it will go and check for the root element if it is there then node list node list is what uh where i am just storing everything as a list okay sorry everything every node every node i am just storing the node tab dot get child element so once it finds the root element okay this is the root element once it finds the root element it starts to get its child element okay that is what the logic behind it so this is if if this condition satisfies then what i have to do i have to get the record that is individual customer record this is the first customer record and this is the second customer record so if i wanted to get the every each an individual record individual customer record then obviously i have to write it in a loop okay so here i have used the for each loop for each node in node list so the node list every child element will be stored a node list to begin so customer will be initialized this is the customer record okay i'll okay i'll be trying to store all the element as an xml element and i'll be storing it in the element um, element variable so here you can see that the element variable is an xml element okay and i'll be getting the child elements as well okay i'll be getting what i'll be initializing the um, um, initializing the table i want to open the table and then i want to get each xml get each xml element okay and also okay and also the child element okay i should not only get the root element also the child element i have to get it and under the child element for each node one in the node list i have to get i have to get what i have to get these three data that is number name and address so i have given that in the in the case okay as xml element so i have to get the number and then i'm just going to validate it customer dot validate so in the validate so in the validate it will be validating whether customer number exactly the number is what i'm because you know see in customer in my customer table you can see that in the customer table this number is what the code 20 okay so it should validate against the particular field whether that field is matching with the data type okay second one is the name where i have text 100 okay here if i am trying to if i am trying to import some number okay so address is what address the next one will be the address address is also text for example if the data type is not matching properly then i have it had to it will be throwing an error that is what customer dot validate it has to validate everything 
so what it has to validate the customer number against the node as xml in the text so that is what then the element which we are giving through an xml document as a node okay so all these things every uh, so every time it f it will first fetch the first uh, customer detail again it will go here and it will get the next customer detail unless and until there is no uh, records found in the table in your uh, sorry in your xml file okay once it finds everything finally it will insert all the record into the xml file so this is the end of this case statement and this is the end of this for each statement and uh, uh, before ending the uh, outer for each statement you have to insert the record okay and uh, once everything is done it will throw an error a message that successfully completed okay successfully uploaded so for this i am going to create a page okay it's a simple page so in this page i'll be using uh, i am uh, i'm just going to give some um, uh, page basic properties for the page and even if you want to give the caption you can give the caption xml import data okay you can give the caption and inside the action i'm just going to use the action import xml data and here i'm just calling the code unit uh, that is i'm just assigning the code unit and that from the code unit i'm calling the specific procedure okay okay so let us just try to uh, save and execute it so once if you press save it will be uh, saved and uh, control s it will be saved and then press control and f5 to execute the code so your code will be executed so here you can see that uh, you have an xml import data so i'm just going to click the action import xml data it will show you an uh, um, a, a, a pop up window called you have to export that is choose the file so click here choose file and you will be uh, you have to select the exact file that is an xml file and click open so your file will be successfully uploaded click ok so let now let us go and check whether our data is imported successfully so here you can see that i have 10000 and 11000 so let us see whether it is there in the customer uh, customer table so you can search for the customer table here okay so once if you click on the customers list so you can scroll down You can see here that uh, 10,000 is added here and 11,000 is added here. Since we have added only three uh, data field into the uh, into the table, so only three fields will be available. That is uh, uh, number, name, and address. I hope you find this video useful. Um, so I'll be uploading how to export the data as an XML from file from BC soon. Thank you. Take care.